Hi everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to emulate or simulate um, a VM migration in a data center network. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, let me give you a brief introduction of my topology. So here you can see that we have C leaf switches, C leaf 1, C leaf 2, and C leaf 3 and C leaf 4. So these C leaf, we call them compute leaves or service leaf switches that connect to the servers. Okay, these C leaf switches are in M lag, and these C leaf switches are, uh, connect to the spine switches. Okay, I am running EBGP between uh, the C leaves and the B leaves. So uh, the B leaves connect the data center to the outside world. And here core one and core two routers, you can say it's a core network or a WAN or a MPLS VPN core routers. So whatever you might call these routers. So in this network, there is a server three there. So what we will do? What we want is, we want here at server one, we have a VM, a virtual machine. Okay. And these server one and servers two are also Arista switches. So here, all these devices are Arista switches. Okay. And what I want is to migrate a VM from server one to server two for any reason suppose that uh, the server one is over utilized and we want to move a vm from uh, server one to server two and you will see uh, how quick it is with uh, like with the help of uh, vxlan and bgp evpn uh, let me first uh, show you that uh, the c leaf switches so on the c leaf switches we will not need to make any change because uh, the VM which we are uh, emulating as VLAN uh, 21. So here we are using the Anycast gateway. So on Arista switches when you use this virtual keyword it means that uh, this SVI is using the IP addresses or IPv6 addresses as an Anycast gateway. Okay, so the configuration on the C leaf switches will remain the same. So what we want to do here, so let me bring a server one and server two. Here you can see show run interface VLAN 21. So this is the VM, uh, sorry, this is the VLAN which we will emulate as VM21. Uh, so that's how, let me show you, that's how you can emulate a VM on a switch. So what you have to do is you can uh, create a VRF instance and then enable IP routing on it if you want to enable IPv6 you can also uh, activate that and then define the VLAN and then on the interface VLAN just define the IP okay and the IPv6 address and then allow the uh, the VLAN on the port channel you can see here I have a port channel between uh, uh, leaf switches and the servers here port channel 12 so here you just allow the VLAN and then the default route. I have just shown you that on the leaf switches, we are using the Anycast gateway for IPv4 and IPv6. So what we will do is we will paste this config on the server too. Please note that here, I, initially I have to shut the VLAN interface because I cannot use the duplicate IP addresses on both the devices on server 1 and server 2. So what I will do is I'll paste this config 
on server 2 and then I will shut this VLAN on server 1 and then I will uh, unshut the VLAN on server 2 and at the same time we will run a ping from server 3 so here let's initiate a ping so uh, here on server 3 uh, this is I am emulating a VM here and it's the VM 50 so let's initiate a ping to the VLAN 21 here which is right now here on server 1 so I will start a ping okay the ping is working now what I will do is I'll go on to my server 2 okay and I will copy paste this config onto server 2 so it's pasted now what I will do is I will shut I will unshut interface VLAN 21 no shut I will unshut it on server 2 and I will shut it on server 1 at the same time so just mm, note here and if you uh, want to confirm the ARP let's go into the leaves which is show IP ARP PRF blue and um, 172.16.21.1 you can see that uh, right now I received the ARP on switch 1 and 2 uh, so let me put a space here so here you can see that on server uh, on leaf switch at 3 and 4 the ARP is being received via the VXLAN interface but here on leaf 1 and 2 it's via port channel 5 and you will see once I shut the VLAN interface on server 1 you will see the ARP coming here on the port channel on uh, CLIF 3 and 4 and here on the CLIF 1 and 2 it will come via via VXLAN so let's do it now so I will shut no shut so you can see the ping is still working there was very little interruption and after that it's it's again started to work and now if I check the ARP you can see now now here the ARP is coming via VXLAN and on switch 3 and 4 it's coming port via port channel 5 so you can see that how efficient uh, uh, VXLAN with BGP eVPN is that in a live environment uh, how quick and how easy it is to migrate a VM so let's switch back uh, suppose now I uh, want to switch back to uh, server 1 so what I can do is I can do here shut on server 2 and on server 1 I can do a no shut and you can see I press enter and the ping did not stop still working and now if I check the ARP you can see that the ARP now again it's back now on CLIF 1, CLIF 2 and on CLIF 3 and CLIF 4 it's coming via VXLAN interface that's it for now it was I just wanted to show you a little demo uh, I hope you liked the video until next time goodbye